Oh my goodness, what the frick? Hi. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Oh, dang it. <laughs> frick. How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Let's get into it. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Okay, I can understand why they're going that route, because, you know, Mario's a silent protagonist and all, but... Mario's putting quite a bit of trust in Luigi right now, having him read a letter from his girlfriend. I mean, what if Princess Peach decided to send something a little more, uh... Saucy. Well, time to find out if this is gonna turn into an awkward situation. Here we go! Ahem. Now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, yeah, that is indeed a map. And at the moment, that's about the only thing I'm prepared to say with confidence. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. I am quite excited for this one. I, I just got back uh, from a convention, hence the new posters back there and the upgraded shield. And I found this there too for a much better price than it was on Amazon. Uh, and this is like one of those games where you hear nothing but good things about it, you know? Like it's on multiple people's like top 10 best games of all time list and it's just, gah, I'm so excited. <laughs> the prologue, a rogue's welcome. Oh boy, ah, jeez. Okay, okay, that, that, I felt that snoring sound travel down my neck. <laughs> Gave me the heebie-jeebies. Excuse me, sir? Please wake up, sir. The town you'd been speaking has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Okay, yep, I kinda see it. Yep, just clear the sleep from your eyes, Mario. That's better. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Oh boy. Okay, not gonna lie, this town looked like it was in a lot better shape from a distance. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is why I love the Paper Mario games so much. You know, they... They stick to the whole everything is made of paper and therefore completely flat aesthetic so much and it just makes the game so charming like they could have had the boat that boat like easily just like you know quickly flip around and go uh but they put the detail of it like bending as it spins and everything and it's just it is so charming oi welcome to rogueport bit of a nasty place eh you got guts coming here you look a bit green so have a wee bit of advice on me hit that save block to save Cause the thing about life is, you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. Okay, just got off the boat five seconds ago and I already have a babam of all people reminding me of my own mortality. Fantastic. What you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. Nope. I'd remember a princess. Probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, you money? Or is she your girlfriend? Uh, <laughs> Oh, jeez, I just realized I don't think I've ever done a toad impression before. That might not be sustainable. Uh-oh. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Okay, some shit's going down. Hello there, and who might you be? 
Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know, right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Oh boy, these guys are doing the whole mafia thing like, oh, you got a lot, a lot of nice things in here. Be a shame if something happened to them. Ba, 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 ha, ha. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. N no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? Hi there. Oh, okay. Like I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Humph, not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Oh boy. <laughs> Mario's like, oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute, pal. I just, I just got off the boat five minutes ago. <laughs> give me a second here. Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old Karumpa Bomb. Oh dear, here it comes, Mario. Brace for impact. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Oh, here we go. This is a reason why I like the uh, Paper Mario games so much, because they do have, like, turn-based combat. Or most of them do, anyway. Uh, but they give you a bit more agency in that you have, like, little, uh... Uh, little, like, button prompts to make your moves more powerful. So, press A just before stomping on an enemy. Here we go. Okay, did that work? I don't know. I only did one damage with the jumps. Sweet! You know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Oh dear! Oh boy! Ow! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a quick little test here to see if my, if to see if I did successfully do the whole button prompt thing for my last attack. I'm not gonna press anything here and see what happens. Okay, yeah, so I did succeed. You've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Oh dear, here it comes again. Oh, yeah. frick! Get the uh, frick out of here. Oh yay, I won. You did it. You did it. Yes, and you got star points. Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get a hundred points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Okay, so star points are basically just XP points. And I got nine of them. Okay, that's a good start. Ba, 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 ha, ha. You got a couple decent shots in, I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Oh dear, what the frick? Where did all these guys come from? Punish him! Oh dear, oh, okay, that's it. Bring it, come on, I'll take on the lot of you. Quick, this way. Oh, <laughs> okay, never mind. I didn't have to fight at all. I just had to casually walk out of that dog pile. <laughs> Phew, what a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Agreed, let's go. Bah, huh? Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? <laughs> okay, I love that one of these guys is just named Johnson. <laughs> ah, crud, they bolted. I wouldn't use the term bolted, more we just kind of casually strolled away. <laughs> is that a gallows? Wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. Yeah, that was a gallows, what the frick? I have just got to give you a little reward. Oh. Oh my. Well, th thank you, I guess. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? I'm a Mario. Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Yeah. Famous guy. Maybe let's not bring up the fact that I'm famous for killing her species by the hundreds, you know? That might make this a little awkward. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. A what? 
hold on. What the frick? Wait a minute. Where did those guys come from? I remember these guys getting real mad at me in sunshine, and those are the ones that lived on a tropical resort. I don't want to see what the ones who live in some rundown port town will do to me. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What you got there? Oh my gosh, is... isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that! Princess Peach? What? Great Hoogly Boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. <laughs> okay... Oh my goodness, what the frick! Oof! Stay down, bro. What the frick's going on back there? Da boss sends his greetings? <laughs> what? Oh, what the frick? What just happened back there? Were those guys enforcers for the local mob? What the heck? I love how that's something that just happened in the background and we are completely oblivious to it. It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, people get beat up all the time by big men in suits. No biggie. What the frick? <laughs> Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, indeed? Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Oh boy. <laughs> you know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. Yes, you, the guy who's rescued Princess Peach like a hundred times. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in. Ho ho. Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Yeah, given what I witnessed in the background there, I'd say rough is underselling it. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. <laughs> is that just a little, uh, little, uh, verbal tick of his as he's walking? He's just like, huff, I say. Huff, I say. <laughs> That's great. Um, Princess Peach. Did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser? The Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, I know Mario, come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined your party. Welcome aboard, Goombella. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I, um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Oh my goodness, those eyes. <laughs> uh, but before we start that search, I think I will top up my HP at the inn. Welcome to the Lone Refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that toad voice is definitely not sustainable. <laughs> I think I'll just go with like a uh, with like a high pitched voice. It only cost five coins to spend the night. Would you care for a bed? Okay, that sounded a lot more like Mickey Mouse than I intended it to. But again, that's an easier voice. Anyway, yes, I'll take a bed. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Oh my, the Goombella, jeez. We, ju we just met each other five minutes ago. I know you gave me a little peck on the cheek, but you're moving a little fast here. Besides, there's a second bed there. We didn't have to share a single bed. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. All right, there we go. With our health now full, we can begin our search for Professor Frankly. Professor Frankly? Actually, I think a guy by that name lies over on the east side. 
Just go east from here. As you enter town from the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important from you, or what? I love that when you talk to people in this town, and you say, like, you're looking for somebody or something, they assume that the person you're looking for stole something from you. Like, that just really tells you what this town's like right there. Oh my goodness, what the frick? Hi. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Oh, dang it. <laughs> frick. That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it myself either. Aha, we found him. Hello, Professor. Oh, hi. There you are. Professor Frankly. What is that? Who's that? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now, you, uh... I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not Elizagoom. Herm. Erm. Aha! Uh -huh, I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at U Goom. Go Goombas! So that's supposed to be, I assume, the University of Goom's, like, sports team. But that is really weird when you think about it. That would be the equivalent of us having a sports team called the humans. <laughs> the homo sapiens. <laughs> that would be the most boring sports team ever. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you are such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Okay, Mario, I don't know what you expected. You've never met this guy before, and by extension, I assume he's never met you before. Mario, Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me? I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show where to find the crystal stars. Correct. And the thousand year door is supposedly here deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? 
Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero! You're great, fantastic, wonderful even! With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door! Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella! Mario! Off we must go this instant! Let's take the magical map to the legendary door! Lead the way, Professor. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? Hehe. <laughs> okay, perfect. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh wait, hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, don't you? I uh, can't say that I do, no. Hmph, positively shocking. In that case, you ought to take a second to learn them. We'll have a little practice session. Goombella, you can be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you nuts? Oh, gee, um, uh, okay, I'll do my best, I guess. All right, here we go. Get a little more details about the combat system. First, we'll practice the jump action command. That okay with both of you? Choose the jump command, then choose which enemy you'll attack. When you choose your target, the action command details appear down below there. Oh, there, right there, Mario. Just before you land on your enemy, press A again. Boop. Okay. You'll know you did it right when NICE appears. You can do more damage this way. Now it's your turn to attack, Goombella. Shake a leg. Okay, here goes, Mario. Oh dear. Oh, hold up. Right there, Mario. Press A just before your enemy strikes you. Okay, so I defended. You did a guard action command. Guarding will reduce the damage you take. But listen, you can't just repeatedly tap A to guard. That will not work. Oh, and remember this. The action commands change depending on the attack. Better stay on your toes. Anyway, next let's practice hammer action commands. Once you choose the enemy you're going to attack, Mario, tilt and hold left. Release that as soon as the star lights up. Bam! Another rousing action command success! How did that feel, Mario? Got a pretty good grasp on action commands now? Excellent! Now for a real treat. I'll teach you a really incredible technique. Goombella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Whoop! Freeze right there, Mario! This time press B just before the enemy attack lands. Okay, cool. Is that like a counter-attack? See? You turned the foe's attack back on him. I mean her. That's a super guard. If you do a super guard with B, you take no damage and damage your enemy in return. But super guards are harder to do than standard A guards. Choose wisely between them. And that concludes Action Commands 101. Ha ha ha. Sorry. Professorial humor. How'd that go over? Would you like to practice your action commands a bit more? Nope, I think I got it. I expected nothing less, Mario. You're a quick learner. You're already a pro, I'm sure. Well, I do believe now we're all set for a quest, hmm? So down below we go. Oh my goodness, what the frick? How the heck are the sewers in better shape than the town? All right, well, I guess we got some exploring to do. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share this video with your friends. And if you want to stay up to date on future videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, y'all have yourselves a good day. See ya!